Alright, let's catch Mewtwo. Mewtwo is one of the legendary Pokemon of X and Y, and although he's not a Generation 6 Pokemon, he's still catchable in X and Y as there's a big focus on him. You can find him in the Pokemon Village in the southeastern part of the world map. To get to him, you're gonna have to go through the Pokemon Village over here, which is going through Route 20. I've kind of memorized the path here, so it's best to follow my route, and you can also see the Mossy Stone to evolve Eevee into... Leafeon, was it? Yeah, Leafeon is also here, so... If you also want to evolve your Eevee into Leafeon because you like Leafeon, then you can also do that here. There's a few trainers to fight here, probably three or four. But once you make it to the end, into the Pokemon Village, there's not much. So this is the final part of the puzzle, or maze, or whatever it is. It's kind of a loop thing, because if you go left or in this place, then you just keep looping. And here is the Pokemon Village, and there's a variety of Pokemon available here, like Ditto and... Bennett, and a lot of other Pokemon. But if you beat the Elite Four which is a prerequisite to catching Mewtwo, then you can actually hit go into the cave, and if you haven't beaten the Elite Four yet, just like in the original Kanto games, there's gonna be a guy guarding it. The only TM you're gonna need is Surf. Waterfall is not necessary, even though a lot of people think you need Waterfall. The only TM you really need is Surf. Oh my god, as simple, well not simple, but as short as that cutscene is, it's amazing, just because Mewtwo is one of the original Pokemon. So Mewtwo over here is level 70, so I recommend you bringing a Pokemon, like like in the original games, he is difficult to catch, probably the hardest to catch, and a lot of people say he's even harder than Zygarde to catch, which is just insane, I like how they did that. And another cool thing is that the Pokemon Village says that, well, if you go in the town map and you try flying to it or anything, if you go to the description of Pokemon Village, it says that the Pokemon Village is actually a location where Pokemon hide, which seems somewhat logical for Mewtwo to be there. So it does make sense. Wow! What? Here's my other option for trying to paralyze you, so now I'm either gonna... I don't know if I should bring back Pokemon, I probably will. Because I really need that Greninja to paralyze you because you are way too hard to catch. I cannot sit here throwing every single ball and then stick it with my Master Ball and throwing it. So even though Butcher Knife over here, which is an AG Slash, is a really good choice for Mewtwo. The best choice is actually Spirit Tomer Sableye because they are immune to all of Mewtwo's attacks. So if you're having a hard time, then go ahead and catch one of those. You should also try, I don't know if they can learn it or not, but you, could, you should try getting a Pokemon with Heal Block. And also, well that's all you need actually. Just a pro Pokemon that can afflict a status condition. I really like Paralyzing because it doesn't go away. And you need a Pokemon like with Fall Swipe or something that can break down 1 HP. And you should also try stopping him from healing because I've actually battled Mewtwo. This is probably my third or fourth time battling Mewtwo and he is so annoying with those recovers. You'll be at the perfect position. Okay, he's par paralyzed. He's in low red HP. Let's throw a Pokeball. You break free, or he breaks free, and he recovers. And it's a pain in the butt because you don't want to kill him as well. And there it is. Recover. Oh my god. I really need to get a Sableye or a Gear Not Giratina. Spiritoma on my team. That'd be really helpful. So I think the best thing to do is actually spam special defenses because with that or Sphere, my Jirai is going to die in a second. And while he's having his little stupid moment and using Psychic a few times, I might as well boost my defense. Or special defense. Oh god, that's going to be a problem. But now that he's paralyzed, I can start using Night Slash. Might actually be a helpful thing, as long as he doesn't use it to get plus 6. Okay, moment of truth, can I withstand this? Oh god, barely. Okay, it's time to heal then. I'm stocked up with a bunch of hyper potions. Oh, I'm ready for this battle. I prepare in stuff you can buy. I don't prepare in Pokemon and stuff. Which you should be doing both, especially for a lot of other legendary battles. Not so much Xerneas and Evil Tool because they do have high catch rates. I don't know why I was so proud of catching him in one ball, but... You should definitely prepare for these other legendary battles. They're a pain in the butt. 
Oh my god, watch. I'm gonna use Lick right now. Or maybe I could use another Night Slash. I'm gonna use Lick. And he's gonna get right down to red HP and he's gonna use Recover. Okay, he would have if he wasn't paralyzed. He's a troll like that. Because in their game, it's written that if his HP is low, use Recover. Not all the time. He's got like an 80% chance of listening. I'd assume. I, I don't look in the code. I don't even think the code's dumped yet. But I'd assume because he doesn't do it all the time because he's still a wild Pokemon, but they did buff wild Pokemon. As I said in a different video, they're smarter now. Oh, you are so annoying. Oh my god. Dude, there's nothing I can do to weaken you easily. And he's going to use recover, I think, 20 times. I think it has 20 power points, so he can recover a lot. Oh, you... I really think when he's at low HP for the first time, he should actually Mega Evolve or something like that. Because in the anime, he doesn't really need a trainer to Mega Evolve. He doesn't need the Mega Ring or anything. He can just Mega Evolve on his own. So, depending on your version, if you were to Mega Evolve with his Mega Stone, because after you beat him, you actually do get his Mega Stone, then that would actually be a lot more epic. Alright, I really want to use an X Special Defense right now. I have three more to use, but I'm just going to throw a Pokeball. I should have tried throwing a Quick Ball first. I've gotten a few people who said they caught it with the Quick Ball. Because Quick Balls are amazing for first encounters. Like, if you're just trying to fill up your Pokedex, get like 100 Quick Balls. That's the way I fill it up. I've literally caught in like 50 Pokemon in like 10 minutes with the Quick Ball. <sighs> See, I have no idea if I should use a Pokeball and have a chance of catching him. Or use an X item to try not to die to this guy's aura spheres. Also, if you don't have a Spirit Tome or Sableye, then at least bring a Pokemon that's immune to one of his attacks. So, my Greninja here being half dark is immune to his psychic attacks. And you can do the same thing with Ghosts to be immune to his fighting attacks. Although, like choices like Gengar would be easily defeated by his psychic attack because he gets a stab from Psychic on like Aura Spear. Which is probably why I'm living each of these Aura Spheres. If he got a stab from our Aura Sphere, then my Jirai here is dead. This is going to be such a tedious battle. If you're going to battle Mewtwo, prepare to be annoyed. Like, irritated to the max. Oh my god, you're still trying to increase your defense? It would actually be a smart idea to bring a Pokemon with... Super effective special attacks as well, because even though he uses barrier, special attacks will still will still do the same damage. Oh my god. You know, I don't even want to use these Pokeballs anymore. They're just dude. People are saying they couldn't even catch it in a dusk ball, and I'm sitting here trying to throw Pokeballs. I've got one more night slash and then it's over. You know what, after this Night Slash, I'm not gonna bat- Really? Really you wanna go there? I could use Surf. Oh my god. Hmm, I think I'm just gonna go for Pokeballs. It's such a waste that I've been damaging them all this time, but... Okay, Pokeballs are useless. Or, actually, let me use a Pokeball. I've been keeping it up all this time, I'm not learning from my mistakes. Dude, that will do literally nothing. Probably like a quarter of my HP. Yeah, that's less than a quarter. Or actually, that's more than a quarter. Never mind. Whatever. Okay, I'm not catching him in a Pokeball. This isn't gonna work out. Especially when he keeps using Kamehameha on me. But whatever, I have three left. Might as well. I really like how when you're in the process of catching him and the Pokeball's wiggling that the camera kind of zooms in to get your hopes up and just to make you feel more excited. Like if it wiggles here, you'll notice. Oh, catch him! Dude, please! You- Oh my god. Dude, what's wrong with you? Dude, three wiggles on a Mewtwo with full HP. I don't care if he's paralyzed or not. This is my last Pokeball. Don't you dare waste it. 
Yes. Yes! Pokeballed Mewtwo at full HP. This got to be an accomplishment. Come on. Who cares about the Paralyzed? I'll Photoshop that out. Nobody will have to know. Dude, Mewtwo and a Pokeball. I can proudly send them out and not have to show my Master Ball. Wow. Alright, so I forgot to mention this, but Mewtwo in his mega form, whether X and Y, has a higher base stat than Arceus himself. And you know Arceus, he's a freaking god Pokemon. Who's the real god now? Alright, here we go, Mega Mewtwo X. 